Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red. I have a suspicion that this is going to be an extremely long video, uh, simply because we are on seven islands now, and there is a lot to explore here. And unlike some of the videos in the past, like the uh, five island videos where I kind of split those up into different sections, I want to explore as much as I possibly can here, but if the video gets too long, I'll try to cut it short. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we are here on seven island. Let's read the sign. What do we got? Seven Island, Quest Island of Infinity. I like the sound of that. These islands are called the Sevi Islands because there are seven. Or at least that's what the young people believe. The truth is these islands are also are so named because they are said to have been made in seven days. Okay. This island has been left virtually untouched in its natural state. It can be a little difficult to hike around because of that. So there is stuff to the north. There is stuff to the south. I actually have a map of the entire seven island um, area and all of its points of interest uh, on my screen to the left here, which I'm going to be referring to just so I can kind of like plan exactly how I want to go about this, just because there is so much going on here. Actually, you know what? I am not going to do that. Um, let's heal real fast. I want to keep Togepi with me. I was just kind of like, should I swap him out? No, I'm going to keep Togepi. More of us like a cute handicap. I always felt like uh, when Ash and his friends, specifically Misty, carried Togepi around, it was always a handicap. We have some really good P uh, Pokemon on our team, but uh, Togepi is there just for the cute factor. So we're going to go ahead and maintain that. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is review what items I have on me. If I have plenty of Max Repels, we're good. There is uh, a Pokemon that I do want to catch here that I'm going to add to my team. I wasn't going to mention this before, but it's uh, if you're watching this far, you might as well know. I am planning to re-challenge or uh, have a rematch with the Elite Four. Um, there's some interesting stuff and developments going on there, and I really want to get a Tyranitar on my team. So I'm going to swap out somebody for that. Um, we're going to mix the team up a little bit. I think I'm probably going to keep... Snorlax and Arcanine on my team. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Raichu, but Snorlax and Arcanine for sure, and I might mix the bag up a little bit um, with others. We'll see. I just don't want to get rid of Snorlax because he's a shiny. But okay, um, you know what? Oh, you know, let's go north first. That probably makes a little more sense. Then we can fly back. Trainer Tower is up here, and naturally we've got some trainers. Somewhere on this island, peculiar Pokemon are sleeping. So she's actually referring to the unknown Pokemon. Um... Psychic Rodette, so I don't not to. Cool, we can just bite our way through all this. Very nice. The, uh, the, the, there is, how do I word this? There's a small cave that we're going to come across to the south. I think it's to the south. I'm pretty sure it's to the south. That has a little puzzle inside of it. If we solve all that stuff, um, that will unlock a certain section of another, like, cave, basically, that will have multiple unknowns, uh, available to us. Um, I'm not sure exactly what letters are available. I don't even, maybe it's all of them. I don't know. But uh, a few become available. That's pretty much all I know. And that's just based on the research that I've done on it. I haven't actually done it myself. So some of this stuff I'm going to kind of figure out on my own. As we play through it. But the Trainer Tower, I don't plan on going through the whole experience. There's a lot going on in there. So I don't really want to do that. I just want to show you where it's at in case you care. In which case, by all means, please explore that area. But for the sake of time and the length of the video, just kind of showing you around and what's going on with it is, is good enough. Dang, I was really hoping he would flinch. That hurt so much less than I expected. I thought that was going to do some major damage. Oh, you son of a... Come on, flinch. Bloody hypnosis. Whatever, dude. I'm going to freaking full heal out of this. What an amazing trainer. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's go heal up real fast. She's probably mentioning the uh, unknown because they are psychic type Pokemon, so it makes sense that she would bring it up. But really, I want to get a Larvitar so I can um, get a Tyranitar. That's, hopefully I can do that in this video. That's, that's a goal of mine, is to obtain Larvitar. It has a 5% chance of appearing in this cave that we're going to get to eventually. So it might be a, it might be a tricky one to get. We'll see. Trainer tower ahead. We'd have to surf there. I think this is the trainer. 
I sense you approach. Or I've sensed your approach. Psychic as well. Okay, so we, do we... Uh, yeah, we do have to surf across. It's not too far. Ah, giraffe rig. What's the word that's uh, used to describe how that word is? It's kind of like how race car backwards is race car. Giraffe rig backwards is giraffe rig. A dark type attack that should do some major damage. Crunched back. Nah, that'll be alright. Really, all the fun stuff that I want to do in this video is the south. Okay, just kind of planning how that goes. Kabutops has served me well as a uh, HM slave. I don't know if we're going to need a lot more HMs down the road, Surf, probably. So i got to figure out who's going to learn that. Trainer Tower Entrance, rise to the challenge, trainers. Let's see what's inside. We're not going to go through it all. I don't really want to do that. We're just going to pop in here for a quick second. <sighs> Never mind battling. These stairs, they're tougher than any battle. I'm here to see how good I am. I wonder what kinds of trainers are waiting for me. It's nerd. Yeah, okay. So you can pop in here. Hi there. May I help you? Okay, so you got that. Very nice. Single, double, knockout, mix. So it's a timer. Um, essentially, you want to beat multiple floors um, and win prizes along the way. Um, my understanding is is that when you fight the trainers, um, the trainer levels, I think if I read correctly, they're the trainer level Pokemon, uh, they are as strong as your strongest Pokemon, level-wise, I think. Um, I also read that you don't get money or experience from this too. So that's something to consider. We'll heal up. We took a little damage with Arcanine and also used uh, Bite a few times. We'll just heal that up. And then we will bounce back. And then we'll go directly south. There's a bridge that we'll cross. There's some grass and stuff like that that we can go to. Man, there's a lot. I'm just looking at this map and I'm like, geez, I don't really know how we're going to do all this in one video. But we're going to do our best. But yeah, so you can pop in the, uh, the tower if you want and all that. But um, yeah, that was good enough for me. Anyway, that's how you get there. Okay, I'm going to use a max repel once we cross this bridge. Not many people come out here. If I train here, I'm convinced that I'll be strong. I'll get stronger and stronger. Yep, stronger and stronger. How would you like to learn a move like that? It's swords dance. Well, that's fine too. I'm good. I don't really need that. Oh, I didn't even notice her sitting over there. <laughs> I'll flick you away effortlessly. What type of trainer are you? That's a weird thing to say when you look like that. Aroma lady. Oh. Oh, Aroma Lady. That's a beautiful sprite for Blossom. Love that. But you made a very, very big mistake, Aroma Lady. My man's Arcanine is going to just burn you to a crisp. Grass type done. Good night. You're dead. I thought that, that uh, Blossom got KO'd. I cannot believe that it survived that. All right, fine. Weird. That Blossom cry sounded very goofy. Huh. That's so strange. I don't know why. I guess I didn't notice it at first. Come on. Same stats, maybe? Is it going to have a 1 HP thing? No, that one's dead. That's weird. It hits the ear in a very odd way. Too strong for me. Take your money, though. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use that. What I'm after is not um, going to be in this grass. And there's going to be a lot of trainers, I think, between here and our point of focus. So, bird guy. Howdy! Are you a member of my fan club? Oh, no. Oh, a juggler. Worse. This is a great place to train if you want to level up, that's for sure. These guys have some... Yeah, they're really high levels. It's kind of intimidating, I would think, but... Hmm. I'm going to see if Flame Wheel can handle it. Voltorb's got some stats that make me wonder if he'll be able to survive this. Okay, good. I didn't want to use Flamethrower. I want to reserve that for more intense enemies. Pineco. Dang, I wish I remember what type... 
Pineco is. Doesn't evolve in Fortress, it's a steel type. I don't know, I can't remember what his type is by default. I thought it was grass. Hey, who cares, it's dead, whatever. Can't know everything. Yeah, please, send out all the Pineco that you can. Getting there. Inch by inch. Voltorb again. If it's level 47 or lower, then we should be able to take it out. Yeah. Come on, Flame Wheel again. Don't fail me, buddy. Nice. The sheer raw power is how we defeat these guys. The level advantage. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, so you're not a fan. Well, I can change that. Let me sing for you. That was the longest line of loser text we've ever gotten. Every time we've beaten a trainer, they've always had something very simple-minded and very quick to say. This island is too spread out. It's not easy patrolling this place. A ranger, then? I'm guessing. Yeah, po Pokemon Ranger. Nicholas would like to battle. Weeping Bell. I am so freaking lucky that they're sending out grass Pokemon against Arcanine. Not only is he going to have the elemental advantage and burn these guys so fast, but also the amulet coin is going to make it a quick fight just to get the money. And Flame Wheel is going to help out too. And while we reserve Flamethrower and Fire Blast for stronger opponents. Of course, we have Moltres to back us up in case we need it. Level up. Boom. But I doubt we will. Unless we run out of fire attacks anyway. Victory Bell. Have we seen this one yet? Maybe we did. I think Erica had one. Now that I think about it. Eh, Flame Wheel should be enough. Ten levels over. Fire type attack. I actually thought that it might survive. She said more than ten levels over, but... Hashtag math. See, look at that. Uh-huh, that's all he said. Trying to see the easiest way. So going to the left doesn't make sense. We're going to go down. Okay. Again, referring to it just a sheer map of the area because there's a freaking metric crap ton of places to get to. So I'm just looking to see the, like the fastest way to get through all this. If we go immediately south from here and then go east, then we should be able to loop around, go up and up. It's a cave entrance we want to look at. Okay. Also, these guys are still using grass type Pokemon. I don't really have to pay attention to the battle. Do you say it as Vile Plume or Villa Plume? It's Vile, right? I'm pretty sure I hear it in my head as Vile Plume, but I think as an avid reader, I look at it as Villa Plume. I've done that so many times where I look at the name of Pokemon and I'm like, as I sounded out it, this is what it looks like it should say, but I'm pretty sure it's Vile Plume. I'm like 89%. You don't seem to be a problem trainer. Okay. Okay, so we should be able to go down here. Oh, there's a couple fighting right there. Well, I guess we don't really need to go there though. I'm not afraid of that. I just want to get get over with or get this over with and move forward. So Vault Canyon entrance. Trainers are asked to refrain from damaging plants in the canyon. Okay. Ho ho ho! Cut the grass. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, this is a vault canyon. Okay. I'm gonna break the rules here real quick. It explains why we're seeing the rangers. Wouldn't it be funny if we cut the grass here and then all of a sudden they showed up and are like arrested us? Okay, these guys are psychics, it looks like. My darling Naya. Together we could win. Interesting. Are we gonna do a double battle? Yeah. Oh, cool couple. Okay. Lex and Naya sent out Miltank and Tauros. Why am I afraid of these two? Miltank brings back terrible memories. Roll out and stomp. Ugh. Hate it. That Goldenrod gym battle. You know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. We're intimidating each other's attacks. I understand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Fire Blast Mill Tank. Snorlax. 
Doesn't really matter. We're gonna headbutt and just fight back and see if that works. Oh, come on. We missed it. That sucks. This might actually really hurt us. Thank God Snorlax is just a giant punching bag. Dude, how are we missing back to back? That sucks. Whoa. All right, I'm down for that. Get Tauros out of there. Doing some, like, significant damage. All right, fine, if that's what you're going to do. Yeah, we're taking a little more damage than I wanted. I think it might be wise for us to hit the Pokemon Center and come back. These guys are pretty capable trainers. God, Miltank is a nightmare. The name Miltank is just so well suited. There we go. Get that out of here. Oops, I always hit that button. I seem to have been too careless. That's it? Only $4,900? Lame. Okay, let's go ahead and fly back and heal, and then we'll come right back. I don't really like how that went. Man, we're already just under 17 minutes in, and we have so much more to do. Oh, man, I probably we probably won't be able to do this in one video, but we'll try. plan this accordingly i think yeah i think i have an idea i think we'll probably split this okay i know what i'm gonna do hope you guys don't mind i uh at this point there's a handful of things that i want to do i want to expand my pokedex just a little bit with some of my favorite um gen 2 pokemon and um yeah we'll have to worry about that later of course but i also want to beat the elite four again I want to rematch them just because I know that they're going to have a new line of Pokemon and a whole new challenge for us, and I think that's a big deal. Okay, let's go here. So this should bring us where? Okay, there's an item here. Okay, what I want to do is I want to go to the left, into that cave first. Let's see what's in here. This is what I thought. Okay, so this is the puzzle. Um, these are switches, and we have to push the boulders in there, which shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. But we have to be smart about how we do this. Uh... I guess we'll just, yeah, try to plan this all out. There we go. Nice. Okay, so this will work well. Pop that there. These aren't particularly hard, but one screw up, you know, really messes things. Makes it ugly, so. I might have already messed it up. it up i think let's try that again oh does it reset them all or just the yeah it resets them all figures i'm gonna try something This one I think I'm going to push up there. This one going to be a little bit trickier than I expected. I need to figure out a way. There we go. That's that's that part of it. It's a little bit trickier. 
There we go. That makes sense. Ah, oh, damn it. I almost messed that up. Okay. There's that one. Now, these guys. I think if I go, yeah. This makes the unknowns available. This is, let me double check what the name of this thing is. It's Vault Canyon, and this is the Tanabi. Yeah, Tanabi Key. Okay. And I don't think, let me check real fast. I don't think there's any wild Pokemon in here, but we have the Max Repel in there, so there could be. Let's see. No. Okay, I was right. Just double checking. All right. Now let's move on. Up and over. This one right here, yeah. Okay, there's a trainer just south of me. There, we're gonna skip that. There we go. Four off. It's not even so much that I don't want to fight these guys. Okay, double battle probably. I work to protect the environment. In turn, nature protects me. Oh my god. Bleeding heart hippie, I understand. Not a double battle. Tangla. So it qualifies as a grass type Pokemon. Is it dual? No, I think it is just grass. Something about this thing that just like, I don't know. Nightmares, man. I've seen I've seen enough hentai to know that Tangela is a dangerous Pokemon. Execute. Okay, dual type here. Psychic and grass. Not nearly as deadly as its evolutionary counterpart, but we still should be able to do some major damage. What was the uh, Pokedex entry we read about this thing? Something about that cracked egg on the side. Was it... Did it... Either it said that it wasn't a dead head, or it is. I can't remember which one. Oh, God. Okay, Executor. This one's worthy of a flamethrower, I think. I'm not going to risk it. Too tough. Big chunk. Pokemon Ranger Jackson. Whoa, you're tough. How about protecting me? Nah, I'm good. Okay, next up. Excuse me. Those shoes you have are pretty snazzy. I think my running shoes. Mom got them for me. No big deal. Chansey. God, I love that sprite. That color palette is beautiful. I don't know why, but from an art standpoint, I really, really love it. Okay, I don't know if a flamethrower is enough. I'm assuming fire blast probably won't be. Chansey is a freaking monster. But yeah, good. All right, I'm just gonna attack it with repeat bites. Bites will probably do the least amount of damage, I'm guessing, of everything that we have here, but I'm gonna save the fire for, oh. Well, I guess just to use minimize, I suppose. Disgusting. Just throwing its, like, egglings out there is just terrible. That's exactly as much damage as I thought that it was going to do. Um, let's see if we have someone else that I can swap out there to do some more damage. I'm going to use Raichu on this one. Only because of Thunder Wave. If I can minimize Chansey's attack so we can just chip away at its health. We'll paralyze it first and then just take it down. There we go. I don't have anything on my team at all that can do enough damage, except, you know what? I actually do. Chansey's a normal type Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure Kabutops has Rock Smash, which is a fighting type, right? Strength is normal, surprisingly, which is sort of annoying. Although we don't have a lot of damage. Yeah, fighting type. Okay, there we go. That'll probably do some decent damage. 
Yeah, there we go. We'll just keep you on repeating that. Kabutops will grow up a level. That'll be good. And so will uh, Arcanine. With its already great stats and the defense curl, it just shows like how much damage Rock Smash is doing. But yeah, ugh, this thing. Still though, the struggles are real on this. Dang, that's a lot of freaking health it recovered. Dude, why are you missing every shot? Is minimize that good? There we go, finally. Nice. Just keep on going. Run out of soft boiled eventually. There, thank God. Hit it again. Thank you. Oh, good. I was like, man, if if we if she uses soft boiled right again, that would suck. Parkinine gained some points. 64. Kabutops gained some points. 57. Very good. Raichu gained a handful of points as well. Y'all worked well. That's teamwork right there. You're hot stuff in spite of your cute looks. Interesting. It's a weird compliment, but I'll take it. Okay, so we have trainers to the right. I think there's probably... Nothing of use that I really care to grab over there. There's probably an item, but it's not really that interesting. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go ahead and pop another Max Repel. Okay. We're going to go down here. Um, that's probably a trainer. Let's find out. I was given the best possible education to become this strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. This is a cool, cool lady. Cool lady Jasmine or something like that. Cool trainer Michelle. All right, her Pokemon are gonna be weak. We should be able to clear all of this out. Then we'll take a look inside that house. I'm gonna flame wheel it. Persian might be able to survive this, but maybe not, we'll see. They're just enough leveled above that that should be. Okay. Vanish it with a bite, I guess. Hyper Potion on your first Pokemon. She truly is desperate. She doesn't want to lose. She wasn't joking about that at all. Imagine a giant fire dog like this flashing its gnawing teeth around that little cat. Just biting it. Dugong. Um, as a water ice type. It might just be categorized as water. But I've always thought of it as a fire, uh, an ice type. So fire should do some damage. We'll find out. Hopefully that'll be enough. Dugong's dangerous. I don't want it to take out Arcanine. Oh, that's not good. Whoa, the entire backdrop changed for Icy Wind. Yeah, that did nothing. I'm going to see if Bite just does the damage. I don't know if this game classifies it as a ice or water. But it's using only ice attacks, so that should be... An indicator of some sort. Oh, I knew it was going to survive that. Only Icy Wind. Why would you do that? Why is that all you have? I would suspect Icy Wind, Blizzard, Ice Beam, things like that. There's got to be a water attack or two that it can learn. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of Seal and Dugong that much. So I don't really know what moves it can learn. Nine tails. Her team varies. Here we're just gonna have to attack with bite after bite. I am going to switch. If she's going to start using some fire types, it doesn't really make sense. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and throw Togepi out there. Just to give it some experience. <laughs> Togepi. 
All right, and then we'll go ahead and get Kabutops out there so we can use Surf. I just want to see how much experience Togepi got. Like, is it really experience? Togepi just walks out to, I'm ready, I can fight. Uh, Togepi, come back. Okay, sounds good. And then just got like tons of experience. Ridiculous. I'm good with that. Six. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do that. Just wanted her, wanted him to grow a bunch of levels. <laughs> so annoying. Giraffe rig. Yeah, I'll switch back to Arcanine and then just plow through with some bite attacks. I'll use a healing item after we beat her. Just to get Arcanine back up. We're too far in it now. I'm not gonna worry about healing. I do think that there is something around here that can heal you. I just don't remember. I think it's in this house. I think there's something that we can do. Oh, the grudge, it cleared out. Ah, oh, you son of a, fine. That's what it was doing. I forgot that's what grudge did. I was like, what does that do again? But I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. Oh, whatever, that's fine. Cool trainer, Michelle. Thank you. I feel like I've been set free by losing to you. Yeah, that's a very positive look at that. I'm surprised you feel that way, but... Okay, Max Revive Ether. Uh, Max Ether. Bring White back. I mean, whatever. I, I have it. Might as well use it. Potion. Sure, why not? Did we have something else? Max Potion. Metal Coat, Nuggy. Why not? Probably a waste, considering I might be able to heal inside here. I'm pretty sure there's a guy inside this house. Somebody with Chansey. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna steal this, thanks. A lucky punch. Okay, whatever. Let's see how this works. Dance, dance, chancy dance. You join in too, dance, dance. Would you like to dance? Yes. Yeah, see, I shouldn't have used the max potion or that ether. Now we dance, and then it heals us. Dang it. So stupid, I've wasted those items. Ah ha ha! There, you're all chipping now. Lucky. Yeah, so apparently if you dance with this dude, you get healed. But yeah, there we go. Chancy! All right, so we beat those people. And now, actually, we didn't... Uh, let's see. Swalt can and Tanabi Ruins ahead. Okay, this is what I wanted to look at. Does this count as Tanabi Ruins? It does not. Is this piece of grass is Savalt Canyon. Okay, so I do want to highlight this real fast. So, Savalt Canyon does have what I want, actually. Okay, so we do have the hunt. So, this is Savalt Canyon. So, I am going to spend some time in here. So, the reason why I, I was actually going to wait, because I thought Larvitar was available a little bit um, later. I have to get this Max Repel off of us. Tanabi Ruins of Vault Canyon. I thought Larvitar was in the Tanabi Ruins, but Larvitar is available right here in Savalt Canyon. Fire Red and Leaf Green at a 5% chance. Skarmory as well, Onyx as well, Persian as well, all 5%. While Marowak, Cubone, Meowth at 10%, Firo, 10%, Geodude, Fan Fanpy at 20%. Dang, it's a freaking strong Meowth. Larvitar shows up at level 15 and level 20. The Rock Smash stuff that we can do uh, nearby has a chance of running into Geodude and Graveler as well, and both Fire Red and Leaf Green. All right, we got it. Here we go. Larvitar, let's do this. All right, I don't have anything that I want to do in terms of battle, and he's, like, pretty low level. Uh, according to Bullpedia, Larvitar only shows up uh, at level 15 and 20, so we're obviously uh, good at that. Let's go ahead and grab an Ultra Ball, shall we? And I should be able just to catch him right now. We'll worry about leveling up Larvitar later when we're done with everything here um, on Seven Island. Ooh. Kind of struggle, are ya? Okay. 
so I'm not worried about that for now. We'll add it on our team later and everything. We'll see how it goes. I kind of want to take Togepi, Togepi with me to the Hall of Fame as well, without using it for battle purposes. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, Togepi is the only Pokemon on my team that could do some damage against Larvitar to chip it away if I don't catch it. Interesting. Leer, Sandstorm, did it use another move? I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. What's Lar uh, Togepi at? 11? Let's see if we can weaken it a little bit. Yeah, it failed because Sandstorm's already out. Is it going to do damage to just me? Metronome, Charm, Sweet Kiss. Let's see how this works. Screech. Okay, so Larvitar doesn't really know any useful moves. Although we can teach it a handful of things. Karate Chap. Oh, nice. Okay. We can teach it Rock Smack. Well, it's not a fighting type. Strength makes sense for uh, Snorlax since it's a normal type move, but... I'll think about that. Smoke screen, huh? Togepi versus freaking... That's so funny. Stun Spore. Phenomenal! That's some great luck there. Paralyzed, I think. So I was thinking about it. I don't think Thunder Wave would work. Raichu on Larvitar. Let's see if that'll work. Cool. That worked in our favor very well. Up in B. Come on. Yeah. All the Pokemon in the wild here seem to show up at really high levels, except for Fan P and Larvitar. Skarmory's level 30. Everybody else is like 49, 52, 54, etc., etc. Meowth 43, Cubone 46. But for some reason, these two, I think it's because they must be fan favorites. And because of that, they're more difficult to catch. Because I feel like I've seen Pokemon all the way up to level 30 throwing Ultra Balls at him, and bam, we caught him, no problem. There we go. Got it. Larvitar was caught. Fantastic. Add that to the team. Eventually. Larvitar, rock Pokemon. It is born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Curious. Nope. Cool. All right, so we'll worry about that later. We got our team. We're going to go ahead and head down. We're now in the Tanabi Ruins area. There's a whole, like, water set of, like, mini islands here. Sub-islands, I guess you would say, that we can look at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot. A lot, a lot. We've got four to the, uh, I guess, the left or the west, and then three to the right or the east. So we'll explore that and more uh, in our next episode of our playthrough. Um, thank you guys for watching. We will uh, wrap up right here and consider this the Seven Islands video or Seven Island video. And the Tanabi Ruins is what we explore next time. But uh, if you enjoyed what you saw here, be sure to hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when we continue the playthrough right here on the Mark and Nine channel. New episodes debut you each and every day at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Take care, be well, and I'll see you when we continue on with Pokemon Fire Red. Later.